Free all my motherfucking niggas, They can't stop us, nigga. We can't be stopped. Here, hundred rounds is probably one of my niggas. RG, what up, what up? Clean back like I ain't never left. It's a hundred every time they talk about souls. RG in the building, man. Curse too much, my bad. Boy, so we skip, cause you know, that's my motherfucking brother. You know what I'm saying? He home now. Now we can run it up. Big video. Shout out to my boy Bobby. Nah, for one bar, what up? This shit creepy, but police niggas be serving shit. Plus the whole thing. This is the link right here. This one made it happen. That's three points here, bro. We gon' run it to the police. Ready to go. Nine by the microwave. Yes, sir. Nah, for one bar, okay, what up? Nah, for one bar, okay. It's the link right here, this one made it happen. Ready to floor. One, go. Hey guys, it's Pharaoh. We're right here in Wild 941, and I got a very special guest for you, Soldier Skip. What's good, brother? How you doing tonight? So just skip, man. I'm in the building, man. I'm feeling good. I'm doing good. It's up, man. 94.1 radio interview, man. It's up. Y'all already know what it is. Me and Pharaoh. Yes, sir, man. It's been a long time since we've seen you around here. I want to talk to you about, you know, who you are for the people who don't know who Soldier Skip is. Who's the artist? Where do you come from? And the name. Soldier Skip. I'm from Bradenton, Florida. I'm a rap artist. I was taking off of my music career. Ended up getting locked up. I'm back for everything. My name, Soldier Skip, came as young, being in the streets young. There was a little soldier, little soldier. My name was already Skip from birth, so Soldier Skip became my name, and I started rapping and took off and ran with it ever since. It's uh, been up. It's been up ever since. For real, for real. When did you start rapping, and what got you into the music? I really, I really started rapping kind of like young you know i had big brothers so it was kind of like a thing to do around the, the house and around the neighborhood you know what i mean like little freestyling and stuff like that so we was doing the little freestyling and whatnot so i was probably doing that young and then i kind of like as time got older we went to going in the little group or whatnot and i never really took it serious but after i got locked up that's when i really went to realize like man i know i got i can do this if i really just work get good I could probably jump out, this might be my way out, you feel me? And I went to pursuing it like that. Tell us about your town for somebody who's never been there. Bradenton, man, you know, it's a small city. It's a beach city from Florida, so we got a couple beaches, like three, four beaches. Uh, football, you know, we known for sending players in the drive. You know, we known football town. You know, it's small, it's a Florida city though, so you know in Florida, they go down. Every city, you know what I mean? So. It, it look, you know, best of both worlds, man, get wild, but at the same time, his party, his hangout is lit, you know what I mean? Come down there, check me out, man, soldier skill. You tell me you're looking for soldiers, a good time on my face, every time. Now that you got the time to be out here, um, how many times are you hitting the studio? What, what's your week looking like with the music? I probably, I've been out, I'm gonna say like five days. I, I done booked a studio already twice in the, in the most of that four hour block. You know what I mean? Just going in there, trying to get back refreshed, or, Catching my voice, catching the hooks, catching the beats, trying to put old the material that I wrote while I was down on new beats out here, just going and doing what I, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do, getting back on go, cause I know with this is, it's about the grind. You know what I mean? It's about the grind. It's, it's a business, so you gotta stay on go. Uh, you better make music. A lot of a lot of times, if I'm really feeling it, if like if I hear a beat and I'm feeling it, then I'll be like, all right, like let me hear it, and I might can just go in there and freestyle and catch the chords and I'd be like stop right there and play with the chords a little bit and then go in but sometimes I write you know what I mean but it depends I do both sometimes a lot of my dogs my homeboys you know what I mean the little zombies that be around me they be like man you freestyle better than you write sometimes you know what I mean so 
I can do both, but I be really trying to, you know, right now what's going on with the rap game, I want hits on hits on hits, so I ain't gonna be t scared to sit down and really take my time and put it down, because that's what it is right now, you know what I mean? I like that you mentioned that, um, you know, you being in prison really got you more uh, focused into the music. Uh, mm -hmm. What other valuable lesson uh, have you learned from it? When I was locked up in prison, you know, I lost my uncle, his wife that he was married to, they died, my granddad, like, soon as I went in, I went to losing people, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you know, you can't get that time back, you know what I mean? It's like, shit be going good, everything be good, the family be good, and then you go to jail, you got to stand on your tin and get through that shit, but that world out there still go on, you know what I mean? You can't get that time back, shit happen that. If you would have been that shit, probably would have been different, or you would have got more time with them people if they would have, you know what I mean? Shit would have been changed, but it's like they gone, now, now I'm back out here, like damn, uncle don't stay there no more, and you know what I mean? Granddaddy ain't, ain't around no more, you know what I mean? So just think about that, you know what I mean? The motherfuckers that you care about. You definitely stood your ground um, with these uh, long sentences that you had. Um, mm -hmm. How do you feel about you know the the gunner situation going on right now? You stood your ground versus somebody who you see took a different route. How do you feel about that? When when they come to when they come to me, you know I'ma always be a honey. That's what you're supposed to do. Any situation, whether it be racketeering, because I done had a racketeering charge. You know what I mean? You want to keep it a honey. You know what I mean? When you check me out, I'm a honey. You know what I mean? When you when you when you mention my name, it's a hundred. You ain't gonna see no tape come up on me years later saying, "Oh, he played or he did this or he did that." You know what I mean? But anybody else who didn't do that, hey, it ain't it ain't no. You know that's what that is. They know what it is. Tina TSO mixtape. Um, also uh, heard the song. Keep it one hundred. Keep it one hundred with Boosie. Yeah. Um, what made you choose Boosie as the as the feature? When you when you thinking keep it a hundred, you know what I mean from any street. From any street person point of view, you know what I mean? You're gonna be thinking Boosie, you know what I mean? Somebody who done did it, done lived it, done rapped it, done went to jail, did his time, came back, you know what I mean? Same type of story I got that I done lived and grew up and was influenced by his music. So it's like, when I did that song and the lyrics I had, it was like, man, if I'm gonna put anybody on here, they gotta be badass, you know what I mean? That was mandatory. The top five artists right now on your list? On my list, top five. Uh, Kodak, Manator, that's Femi, uh, Kodak, Lil Baby, Money Bad, Yo, PZ. I've been fucking with PZ lately since I've been out the new wave, you know what I mean? I've been fucking with PZ. Hot Boy, free Hot Boy, man. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go with Hot Boy fam, another fam. Definitely, man. Shout out to Hot yeah, Boy. Yeah, um, boy. What's something you don't like about the music industry? That they embracing everything, you know what I mean? Like, back then, it was kind of like... You had to be living what you was rapping about, you know what I mean? Like, you couldn't get on the track and just say this, that, and that if you weren't really living this, that, and that. But nowadays, it's like, he got the chain, he got the money, he got the jury, he got the girls, you know what I mean? And fuck what he did, or fuck who he supposed to be in, or fuck if he this or that. Man, this him. He that dude, and everybody fucking with him, everybody following him. Before, it was like, if you want that, if you want who you supposed to be in, if you want living what you were saying, you definitely couldn't go nowhere with that shit. You know what I mean? Now they embracing everything, so it's kind of like the authentic motherfuckers, the real motherfuckers who usually be getting uplifted, they kind of getting like pushed to the side because it's like they don't give a fuck if you real no more. It, you got Tom and Dick popping and stunting and everybody rocking with them. You know what I mean? Uh, you just told us you got out a couple of days. Uh, what's the first meal you went to have? First meal I went to have when I got out, I think, oh uh, shit, I don't even remember, man. Or, or if not, what meal was you missing? Yeah. What I was missing, I wanted a steak better than a motherfucker, you feel me? I wanted a steak better than a motherfucker. I ended up getting one and I was chewing that bitch and then I choking, I was trying to get it out so much. Yeah. Tell me man. about this, this crazy car chase. And you know how it be, man. I ain't gonna lie. When I, I had caught a charge, it was like a, I had got a gun, had got found in the car, you feel me? And they never charged me with the gun. So I was, me and my brother had came through the hood and picked my brother up. And we, we was leaving out of the neighborhood and next thing you know, a bunch of police is like, I'm Mark Hoff. They come in, they coming in. So they, when they looked and seen me, they went to U-turn behind me. So I'm telling my brother, man, you seen that? He Once he seen me, he went behind me, you feel me? And he was like, yeah. He like, yeah, go, go, go. I'm like, hold up. He like, man, go, go, go. I snatch up out of there, you know what I mean? Cause now I'm thinking, man, it gotta be the feds, man. This gun charge coming back, you feel me? Cause I ain't did nothing wrong, you feel me? And that's what it was, it was coming back with a warrant for the gun charge, but 
I'm really spooked and don't know what's going on. So I took him on a little, I had just bought a brand new car. I really wasn't trying to wreck. So I just took him on a little, well, let him see, the, let him see the speed in that motherfucking turbo. You feel me? That's what it was. What should we expect from you in uh, 2023? It's early in the year. What do you have planned? What, what's your goals? Man, my goal is just music, music, more music, man. Music videos, uh, any type of concert shows, promotion, awards, man. Features, hooks, videos. I'm just trying to step on the gas, man. While I'm hot right now, I'm back out there. They, they were rocking with me. All my fans were rocking with me. They've been showing me love on the Welcome Home. Push content, heavy content, man. Branding myself, branding my logo. And stand on the gas, man, all 2023. What do you think is a big red flag off a female off rip when you meet her? A red flag off a female yeah. out the gates. Hey, I ain't done. Red flag. Mm -hmm. Mandatory red flag. Hey, I ain't done. Oh, man, let's get a leg. She don't step out. She looking like that. Ain't no telling what's going on with her. Yeah. For sure, man. Um, if you didn't choose rap as your as your main career, what would you say What would be like, like a second career that you would have chose? Uh, second career? I don't know. I want to be an actor. I'm trying to figure out how I can sneak into acting though right now. So how about I take the goals I get the veneers and go ahead and try to do my Chris Tucker, man. It is what it is. For sure, that's a <laughs> must. Um, I started living in Florida. Where else would you live? Uh, any other uh, uh -huh. city? You got New York. You got L.A. You got these other major cities. Hey, everybody yelling Texas right now, man. I might go see what them country boys doing out there in Texas, man. You feel me? I might go out there to Texas. Five essentials that you have whenever you go to the studio. You know, you always gotta have something to roll up on. That's that's number one. Uh, what else is needed in the studio? Uh, Zaza, water, a couple of my zombies with me so we could parlay and vibe. Uh, uh, fucking little food, some wings or something. And sometimes I ain't like usually, man, get some hoes in here, man. Get some females in here. Get some ass cheeks clapping and some females swing around and the voices going around. You know what I mean? Just the on the Bible. And, and looking at uh at your career, where you came from, your downfalls and your uprises, uh, what would you want somebody or an upcoming artist to learn from you? Man, you don't gotta, a lot of the bullshit that we go through as up and coming artists, it be not us not having patience. We'll build up a good buzz and have a lot of people in our corner, a lot of motherfuckers rooting for us. And we won't have the patience to see that through. Cause uh, and when I got jammed up, I was making money in the business, in the rap business, you know what I mean? So. But I was making more money doing other shit, and I could have just focused straight on the on the music and probably made way more. So, but a lot of time, man, had that patience, man, had that patience to be able to put a lot of that that bullshit down and focus on your career, man. Cause if that talent that you gonna shine, you know what I mean, they gonna notice it, and that shit pay off in the end. So I had that patience. And that's what it is, man. That was Soldier Skip with us, Y94-1. Uh, stay tuned to the interview. A lot more coming from him. Um, do, do we have a name for a mixtape or a project coming up? Man, I got a project on the way right now, man. I think I'm going to call that bitch Soldier Scriptures, man. I'm going to keep that bitch all the way real, man. Y'all know I'm Mr. Keep It 100, so be on the way. TSO The Movement, Soldier Skip 3 on the ground. Y'all follow me, man. Soldier Skip on YouTube. Soldier Skip 3 on the ground, man. Y'all follow me. Tune in, man.